So now in this video, we'll be working on the video player components. So I'll be using this React Native Web View to play our videos, right? Now you can use any native video player library, but I'll, I want to keep things simple, right? So instead, I will be making use of this Web View, right? So Web View is basically you can use Web View to load some part of website in your application. Yeah. So if we click in here, get started guide, then we can just copy this command, right? And we'll paste this command in our terminal right uh, and we'll hit enter now let's wait for a few seconds and till then let's read documentation so we can make use of this web view like so like this so we can pull this web view from react native web view and we need to add a source prop inside the source prop uri and uh, the url of that website which we want to load in our application so let's copy this Control C. Let's see if it is downloaded. Okay, so it is downloaded now. Okay, so let's start the coding part. So what I will do, I will import this in here, right? Web view, and I will get rid of this text. Here I will create another view, right? And I will give styles to this view, right? Okay, and I will add width of 100% of the screen size. So I will write here 100% of the. Uh, uh, screen width and here I will add a height of let's say 200 right yeah this is it for now and inside this view we'll be loading our embedded YouTube video right okay so here we can make use of this web view like so we can self close it and all we need to give here is a source right source and inside the source we need to give this URI and now here I can embed the youtube videos right so for that we need to type https colon slash slash and www.youtube.com and slash emb emb uh, ed embed and slash here we need to put any video id now let's say we'll be receiving video id from the props so here we can write props right We'll pass the video ID when we, we will be clicking on the card component, right? So we'll be receiving that from this props and let's say we'll be concatenating, right? The video ID. So I will be using this backticks instead. And now here I can put this dollar and these brackets to concat video ID. So let's say P-R-O-P-S dot V-I-D-E-O ID, right? Okay. D, let's make these smaller. Okay. Like so. I will close this. Yeah, so it's done now. We need to display a, a little text after that video. Let's say we'll be displaying the video title, right? Okay. For that, we can make use of uh, when this views end. Okay. In outside of this view, right here, we can make use of this text component, right? And we'll give this text a little bit style, right? So we'll be giving this style, let's say, font size of 20 and width so for width i will be importing the dimensions from react native right the i am dimensions and i'll be giving this width of width which will be coming from dimensions dimensions dot get and inside this get i will pass a uh, screen right and i will here write width and i will minus 50 units from that okay uh, this is this is okay right and I will uh, give the little margin right so I'll give the margin of let's say 9 yeah now inside this text component we will be receiving again title from the prop so inside this I can write here something like uh, let's say p r o p r o p s dot t i t l e we'll be passing we'll be getting this title from uh, this so we'll be passing the titles when we'll be navigating right okay and now let's add an empty view here let's add a self-closing view here uh, we can self-close this view and let's give this a style to this view let's give this a little border right so for that we can add a style right and inside this we can add border bottom width and this will be one right okay this is it this is all i have right so this is all we need to do in this screen or we can uh, uh, add couple of props to this right so we can restrict the number of lines to two right number of lines to two 
and we can here use e double l i ellipse size mode and it will be tail yeah like so and i think we are done with this component yeah this is it for now right this is all we have right so let's save this now we let's say let's go to uh, the card component right now if the user clicks on this card so we'll be navigating that user to our video player so here we can chain on 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 press p r on p r e double s uh, do we have on press here uh, p r e s on p is capital i guess and this will be a function right so we can now navigate to so we have access to the navigation prop right uh, do we have access to this navigation prop in the card let's see let's console dot log first right so uh, uh, let's hear console dot log uh, p r o p s right okay so now let's save this right and here is my emulator right so i will make this little bit smaller right i will get rid of this application right now instead i would uh, start my development server by typing npm start and let's wait for a few seconds now let's click on this run on android emulator and let's wait for few more seconds i will open this console to see the output right uh, right in here i will be clicking on the card and we'll be seeing the output let's see if you have access to the navigation prop if you don't have then we need to make use of the use navigation hook i think we don't have right we have an access to the navigation props in the screens but we don't have access to the navigation prop in this particular card so it is downloading javascript bundle and now uh, what it what just happened so let me reload it oh it is working it is working fine okay so where is our search bar i think we know we need to reload this and there we go okay so let's click on the search and let's search for songs songs uh, right uh, okay so our state is updated now i will go back and i will click on this card uh, we are not able to see the console.log why is that a case oh let's see again our logic uh, let me open my code Hmm. I think we cannot attach this on press props to this view. So instead, what I will do, I will here pull touchable opacity. Uh, to so we can use this touchable opacity to make anything clickable. So we can make images clickable. We can make cards clickable. So what we will be doing, we will be using this touchable opacity. To you. C H A touchable opacity and I will grab this ending tag control X and I will put this to the very end right in here control V now I will copy this uh, control X or I will cut it and I will give this to this touchable opacity like so and what I will do I will go to this uh, a search screen and I will get rid of this console.log right yeah let's remove this uh, and let's save this right and let's have a look on our emulator now let me open up my uh, this uh, terminal and now here we'll be clicking on this card let's click on this card so we are getting this console.log right now so here you can see we don't have access to the navigation right so for that we can make use of the special hook right for that you can scroll it down here you can see we have this special hook right to access the navigation prop so let's copy this control c uh, and I will paste it in here and uh, 
let's see again the documentation let's cop copy this as well because i'm too lazy to type and i will put a control v here okay so now we have have access to the navigation so if user clicks on it uh, we'll be navigating nav navigation dot navi gat navigate to a uh, video player screen so let's so let's see what name we gave so let's go to the app.js and let's see so the name is video player so i will copy this control c and i will put it in here control v now yeah now when we, we will be navigating so we'll be passing the video id right so here we can pass the video id so here i can write video uh, id right and video id is coming from this props video id right so we'll, i will just copy this control c and i will write it in here like so like this way right okay so i will go to again on my video player so we are not making use of props right so uh, we can just get rid of this props so now i can access basically the video id from uh, this props right uh, from the route prop instead so i will restructure out the route right route and in here i can const put a const here and i can destructure something from this r o u t route dot p a r a m s and that something is called as video id let's let's see the spelling right so this is the spelling so this is the spelling so we'll destructure that control c let's go to this and control v like so and here we can just write video id right let's see the uh, the name is same as we have wrote here right and we'll be passing something uh, title also right so we to pass title as well right so let's close this right so we have access to the title right in this props dot title right yeah so i'll copy this control c i will be passing this title as well here i will be writing t i t l e and it will be coming from props dot t i t l e right like so now i can destructure this title as well so i will uh destructure the t i t l e now i can get rid of this prop from here right let's save this right and let's see i will what i will do i will attach this uh go i will go to this card and i will attach the, uh, i will copy this right uh yeah i will copy this and i will go to the search screen and i will attach this uh to the mini card as well right so where is our mini card oh so mini card is a separate component i guess yeah this is the separate component so again here also we need to make use of the touch touchable opacity in here so we'll be making use of again touchable opacity t o u uh t o u c h a b l e o opacity and i will wrap i will think with this t o t o u c h a b l e o opacity and i will paste this in here so again we don't have access to the navigation prop right i will grab this ending tag control x and i will put this to the very end here right so i will go to the uh, card component i will copy this control c and i will paste it uh, here also control v i will again copy this hook control c and i will paste this in mini here as well right okay yeah so we are here we are receiving props so from the props we are uh, receiving video id again we are passing that to the video player right while navigating right okay so i think this is the logic right this logic should work for sure let's save this and now let's test that out so here is my video so if i click in here here i should be able to navigate so it is giving throwing me an error now you know this web view for some reason doesn't work on a, my emulator right so i will be using my real device instead right so yeah so i'll be closing this instead i'll be using wiser so i have opened my real device so let's try to run that on my real device right so i think this is the bug with my emulator right this may work on your uh, emulator right so where is our the our export uh, uh, yeah this one let's click on this run on android emulator and let's see oh let me open my phone again yeah okay 
and it is opening up it is downloading javascript bundles i will be searching for let's say uh songs right and i will press this button right okay so it is loading up so let's try to play this song so here we can see uh this youtube video is being loaded so here i can uh, press on this to start so for some reason it is not playing i guess now ah, it is playing it is playing so video is being played here right so video is being played in here okay so here we can uh, go back from home screen also we can call this right from home screen also we can call this uh this is little bit buggy i think so let's try to play this video uh oh and it is uh behaving a uh, not it is not correctly working right i think we need to add something more uh, i will go back i think here we need to add couple of props uh, let me go see my code part and i will search for uh where is our video player here i think i need to add javascript enable right and that will be true i guess let's save this now and let's see now how it works so let me open up my device again and i will again press uh run on android device right so here is my device so again it opened up right so let me close this and let me open this one more time uh okay so now let's search for again for some let's say react native coders never quit so i'll play i will uh, play my video i will press this button let's try to play uh, let's say this video and what ha happened so it is taking a while maybe my internet connection is not that fast now let's try to play this and it's working right it is working right so it is taking a little bit while to load right so it is perfect this is exactly what we wanted here we can add one more store one more prop uh, let me close this application and uh, let's go to the code part and here we can add one more thing that is dom d o m uh, dom s t o s t o r a g e and e n a b l e d enable to true t r u e t r u e like so now let's test this one more time right and here is my device right and uh, what i will do i will reload this uh, instead uh if we have yeah we will, i will reload this application right now i will see how it things work right so i will search for let's say songs songs again right and let's try to play this song so it is working correct it is working amazingly right so let's wait for few more seconds yeah it is taking a little bit while to load right but it is working correctly right it is working it is working fine so this is all we have right so we worked on our video player component right so it is uh, so web view is basically little bit slow but it's fine for now right it's fine for now okay okay so it is working perfectly right so this is we have made this amazing uh, youtube clone right so we'll be working uh, on uh, further on the next video so i'll see you guys in the next video